The aim of this appeal is to re-equip Westminster to serve the church in new ways, keeping the best of what is here now, whilst developing new courses and modern facilities. The United Reformed Church is our church, a church that prays, that learns, that serves God and the world. We cherish places in our life together where many of our church members in all their variety may grow and flourish in faith. Westminster is one of those remarkable places. Westminster College is now at the most significant time in its history since it was first opened in 1899. Westminster has always been about learning and prayer and welcome. But in 1899, there were only about 24 young white men who were here preparing for ordained ministry. Now we want to open the doors of Westminster to as many people from our church and beyond who would like to come. We want you to come to learn, to pray and to experience the welcome here. In 1899, most of the learning was done in the library and in the classroom. Nowadays, of course, we learn in libraries and classrooms too, but also in lots of other ways. Through experience in local churches, through doing things, through doing art, and through discussing things together. And that makes the learning here much more open to a wider range of people. And the welcome of Westminster is becoming much warmer. One of the things we want to do is to make sure that our residential accommodation and the food we offer and the meeting spaces we provide meet today's standards and that you will find them wonderful. So please come and feel this is your home and your place. Our doors are open and we wait to welcome you. At the heart of the college is prayer. The labyrinth was built in 2008 by the whole college community. It is based on a long tradition of the pilgrimage of prayer and it offers a focus for prayer and reflection. In the chapel, with its unique stained glass windows, services of worship mark the rhythm of the days and the special events of the college year. The chapel is always here for groups and conferences to use and a light is always on. For lay preachers, Westminster offers a fantastic opportunity to update skills and knowledge and to share experiences, particularly in the annual Lay Preachers Weekend. I'm a student at Westminster College. Um, I'm actually studying on the PRD programme, which is a professional doctorate in practical theology. Uh, what I'm actually studying, I'm actually doing some research on black women in the, in the URC. And my research is revealing that black women have a tremendous amount to offer the URC. Westminster College is very special, not only to, to me, but to my entire family, because we have always felt welcome uh, there. Although I'm fairly young, I've come from a different country and I've had some different experiences and different walks of life. Um, I've tried my hand at a, at a few careers, but I can honestly say that this year has been one of the greatest years of my life. And, um, and it wouldn't be the same, it wouldn't have this feel if it wasn't for the people that are here, for the work that's been done here, as well as the staff that have done here. And I think that's a great thing in that staff, students, teachers and families alike all feel part of the community and all feel like friends. Today, the college works to enable and encourage us in the exciting and lifelong project of being disciples of Jesus, learners in the Kingdom of God. This is a place where anyone, church members, elders, lay preachers, ministers, old and young, can come and deepen their faith. It is a place where refreshment, encounter and learning are available to anyone who wants to come. It is a place of welcome, community and new vision where radical and provocative faith 
meets real and daily life. Through the work of the college, lives are changed in powerful ways and people are made ready to serve God and God's mission in the world. Westminster's teachers work in many places. They travel to churches and venues throughout the UK and overseas to deliver courses and events, to teach and to inspire. Now, in the 21st century, Westminster is serving a church and a world in turbulent, changing and exciting times. Christians want to explore and understand faith and want to be able to live it and proclaim it faithfully and well in these days. The church, as always, needs good ministers, prepared and ready to serve God with faithfulness, wisdom and skill. Westminster is committed to preparing people for the ministry of word and sacrament, who will lead and inspire the church they serve. Ministry is also for all God's people, not only for those who are or will be ordained. Worship and service is for all ages and for everybody. So part of Westminster's work with others is to help us all be the church today. As well as being a resource centre for learning within our own church, Westminster is a leading member of the Cambridge Theological Federation, sharing with Anglicans, Methodists, Roman Catholics and others in preparing people for ministry in a truly ecumenical community. The best of what the College now has will remain central to the Westminster College experience, but there is a need for new resources to widen the appeal of the library to stimulate and encourage, to open possibilities of exploration and creativity in a new art studio, and to offer a practical welcome to people with disabilities, with lifts and sensitively designed accommodation. And although this isn't a luxury refit, there is a need to make a building that was designed in the 1890s fit for the 21st century. That means new catering facilities and ensuite rooms, so that your stay with us, whether you come for a night, a week or a term, will be comfortable and enjoyable. These developments will not only improve the experience for all who come here from our churches, but will make it possible for Westminster to offer facilities for a wide range of conferences and events, strengthening the income stream we need to fund our work and mission. The College intends to retain the best of the existing buildings, but to develop for the future just as we are developing our programmes and our work overall. The new facilities will enable us to do more to serve our church and its people, to offer a welcome to visitors from the UK or from around the world, while remaining what it has always been, a centre for learning, prayer and welcome. Westminster will be better able to meet its aspiration to serve the church into the future. As you can see, this project aims to bring Westminster up to date. But it's not a vanity project. It's about continuing to play our part in the Church's mission for the long term. Now, General Assembly has already pledged a million pounds to the appeal, and Westminster itself has earmarked a further two million. And so we hope that our 1,500 churches and 66,000 members across the country will join with us in this church-wide endeavour. Now, I've been a church member for more years than I care to remember, and I know that churches come in all sizes and that they're beset by all manner of challenges. We do hope that your church will be able to make a gift to the appeal, but your mission comes first. And so what we ask is that you will consider in prayer how you as a congregation are called to respond. You needn't make your gift all at once. It can be spread over four or five years to make it more manageable. But your pledge will make all the difference to us. 
And if a direct gift is out of the question, I wonder, might you consider a fundraising event, perhaps shared with a neighbouring church, as your response? And as an individual church member, what you give to your own church is your priority. And I know that not everyone can do more. But if you can, it will mean so much to us. Now, I truly believe that what we plan for Westminster is really good news for the whole church. And so, in any case, please pray for the staff and for the students here, and for those of us working on the appeal. But above all, for the future ministry of the United Reformed Church. Thank you so much for listening.